Hello and welcome to part 8 of this H3VR modding tutorial. In this part we're going to be setting up our metadata for our gun and we'll also be setting up our item spawner entries and our build profile uh, for exporting the gun. Um, so the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is start creating our FVR objects which is basically the, the metadata for our gun. It tells us everything we need to know about it. So we'll start by creating a folder and we'll call that data. And we'll go into the Create menu and look for Object IDs. And we'll just create that. And we will call this uh, Obj uh, OTS22. And so this is basically all of the information that the game needs to know about our firearm. Um, we'll start with a path to um, our firearm asset prefab. Um, basically what that is, is it's the path from assets, gun, and to our prefab. So we'll go back into this FVR object, and the path is assets, guns, and I believe it is OTS22.prefab. Um, make sure that we spelled that right. Assets, gun, yeah. So this is the only thing that you need to fill out out of these three. And the next thing that we'll do is create a item ID. This is basically how um, the game like knows what your item is and how it gets referenced. So we're going to call this OTS22. We will also add a display name, OTS22. And since this is actually technically a prototype, we will call it an OTS22 prototype. The spawn from ID, um, we're just going to make that the same as the item ID. And the category of this is a firearm. If it was a magazine, you'd put magazine. Um, we can go ahead and ignore um, these values. It doesn't require a Picatinny site and all that. For our era, um, this is a modern uh, era weapon. It's a real weapon, and I'm going to say that it is a compact weapon. The action is an automatic, and the round power is pistol because it's a 9mm. The country, there's a lot of options here, but it is, uh, it's Russian Federation. Um, the first year, this is the second half of the 90s, so I'm going to say 1996. For firing modes, we'll go ahead and there is two firing modes. There's semi-auto and full auto. For feed options, it is just a box mag. Firearm mounts, there is a muzzle mount for suppressors and muzzle brakes. And these uh, tags are for if you're making an attachment, so we'll just ignore those. These are for melee if you're making a power-up, and also melee or grenades or whatever. Um, for magazine type, it is an OTS-22 magazine. And for round type, it is 9 by 19. Um, since this is a gun, uh, you want to check this because it has a round type. You would also check this if it was a magazine. For these options, um, you could fill these out. But I tend not to because there's a mod that uh, basically fills these out for you. Um, so I'm just going to let that handle it. And this OSPLE uh, option, this basically is checked if you want it to spawn in pools and like the game mode take and hold. And if you don't want it to spawn in those pools, you leave it unchecked. So we'll just leave that checked. So with that created, we'll go ahead and go back into our gun. And basically, we'll just drag that into this object wrapper field. You want to make sure that that's um, in there. And we will apply. And we'll go ahead and do the same for our magazine. Object IDs. Um, this is object OTS22 magazine. And the path is going to be. Oh, Uncheck that. The path is going to be OTS 
Oh, is that an error? Oh, good. Good that we looked back at that. I believe it is OTS dash 22. Um, so OTS dash 22 magazine. Let's make sure that that's right. Yep, that looks right. And we will do dev OTS 22 magazine. We will set the display name. It is a magazine that we're making, and we will copy that item ID. Um, for magazines, I tend not to check any of these out. These are pretty much for guns, attachments, and melee and stuff like that. Um, I'll go ahead and set this uh, option. And same with this one. But other than that, I think this is okay. I think this is set up uh, much easier than the gun. And we'll also make sure that we go into the magazine and apply the magazine VR object. So that's the metadata for that. Um, the next thing that we'll go ahead and do is make the item spawner entries. And that's just up in meat kit, other loader, and then spawner entry. So we'll call this entry OTS 22. And from here, you'll see that we have item ID fields. We basically want to just copy that item ID. This is the main object of this item spawner entry. That's what's going to spawn. Um, for the spawn with and secondary object IDs, this is what is going to spawn when you spawn the main object from the item spawner, and the secondaries are what is going to show up on the side that you could spawn at will. So for this, we're going to go ahead and grab the item ID for our magazine. And we'll have the magazine spawn when you spawn the gun, and also you can spawn it manually. Um, the next part that we have is the path. Um, this requires some explaining, but I'm going to first set it up how I would set it up. So we have it in a firearm page. And then we're going to set this in an SMG uh, subcategory. And you'll see that we have a category path basically created for us. Um, but what is important is that you could also create, you know, custom subcategories. And basically, it will add a new category that this gun will then be inside of that instead of just the SMG. And if you want to do a custom main category, you can set this to none, and then you can actually edit this. So you see that we have a different uh, subcategory now. So that's how you would do like a main category. But we'll go ahead and change that back to SMG. For the entry icon, we will just enter the icon that we created. And for the display name, it's just going to be OTS-22 prototype. Um, we do want this to display in the main entry since this is the gun. And for tags, these are basically custom tags that you can sort the item spawner by in the uh, tag sorting mode. So I'm just going to use a tag that I've used before. Um, Basically, this is just how you could organize all of your mods by, and you could just have that be something you could search, and then all of your mods would show up. Um, tutorial block IDs aren't set up yet, but eventually you'll be able to enter an ID and have a tutorial. And finally, we have uh, uses large spawn pad. Um, this is not a large gun, so we're not going to use that. And the is reward function is... Um, I'm not sure how it's used yet, um, but eventually it will probably be used. So there we have an entry for our gun, and we can go ahead and I'm just going to duplicate this. And um, this duplicate, we'll uh, name it magazine, and we'll just copy our information. So magazine is this uh, item. 
Um, we're not going to have it spawn with any secondary objects. Um, we'll keep it at the same path, and we do want to change the icon. Um, we'll name this OTS22 Magazine, and we won't have this display in the main entry because this is going to be the secondary object for our firearm. Um, we'll keep the mod tag, and that's pretty much all that we need for this. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back out, and we'll start creating our build profile for making our mod into a gun. So first, we'll go up into Meat Kit, Build Items, and then Other Loader Build Item. Um, we'll call this Build Item OTS 22. And you'll see that we have some fields that we can fill out. The first one is the name of the asset bundle that's going to be created when we export. I'm just going to name that OTS22. For the prefabs, we have two that are going to go inside this uh, asset bundle. It's going to be um, our firearm and the magazine. Basically, you want to include any of the prefabs that you've created that um, you want included in this build item. Um, we have two spawner entries. It is our entry OTS uh, 22 for the gun and the magazine. And then we have two FVR objects. Um, these are also optional, but you might, you probably won't end up using this unless you're doing some more custom stuff. And for this on demand option, basically this is telling MeatKit that the mod should load itself instead of using something like Stratum uh, to load the mod. So the next thing that we want to add is um, the build root. So we'll go into here. We'll call this build root OTS22. And basically, this uh, build item tells uh, the mod how to load, like what order. So if you have um, a load order for your asset bundles that matters, um, this is how you would organize it. And since we just have one asset bundle, I'm going to go ahead and put our, asset, our build item into the any uh, option. And you'll see that we get a category overview for all of our category items that are going to load. Um, this is pretty simple. It's just going to load these two items. And this is maybe a good opportunity to show how um, you can add uh, custom subcategories. So if I change this to custom subcat and we go back out to here, you'll see that we have um, a red option here. And basically this is telling us that we don't have a, um, this, this is a subcategory that doesn't exist in the game currently, and we don't have it included with our mod. And this is actually okay. Basically what this means is that if we were to load the mod in this state, this would just be a white icon for our spawner entry. Um, but it would still work. But we don't really want that. So we'll go ahead and delete that and go back so that everything's normal. Now that we have our two build items that we need done, we can go ahead and create the final thing, which is the build profile. And this is basically all of the information that is going to be used and displayed on Thunderstore, which is where mods are handled. Um, so we'll name this OTS22. We will name the package, or the, yeah, the package OTS underscore 22 because um, if we did a dash you'll see that we'll get a warning that you can only have uh, letters and underscores and that'll basically turn into a space um, the author is me the version is 1.0 and so now we need an icon for our mod and you'll see that I've I've gone and created an icon um, off screen, but there's a couple important things to take into account when you uh, import an icon. 
first. It has to be 256 by 256 in resolution. We also want to turn off compression. Um, it's going to complain and not build if you don't turn that off. And we also want to enable read and write. Um, so we've done that. And that should be good. Now we can just drag the icon up into there. And we also need a readme. So in order to get that, I'm just going to copy um, this readme. I'm going to duplicate that and bring that over to our side. And I'll work on this later. Um, but for now, you just need a readme, and you can edit that. And that's basically what will display on your Thunderstore page. So we'll bring that in. For a website URL, we don't have one. Description, um, you could enter a description here. That's basically what's going to show up on Thunderstore. Um, dependencies, we will see that this will fill out um, later. Um, for strip namespaces, since we don't have any custom uh, scripts, we'll leave that enabled. Um, that'll basically not include custom scripts that uh, are used in the sample, which is fine. And for build items, we want to include our build root. And you want to make sure that you include the build root and not the build item, because the build root is uh, what organizes all of the build items into the mod that uh, gets built. And you see that we have the dependencies filled out now. We have one and its other loader, uh, 1.2, but you could also add custom dependencies. And that's basically, uh, these are the dependencies that show up on Thunderstore. And with that, I think this build profile is pretty much ready, except for the information that we didn't fill out, but that's not necessary yet. Um, so in order to actually build this, we go into Meet Kit up here and do Build Window. And we want to include the build profile that we just created. And you'll see it'll pop up here. And we can also pick um, the build action for this build uh, profile. And what I'm going to do is select Copy to Profile. And I'm going to navigate to my build profile. Um, so we'll bring it into here. And just this is the profile in your R2 Modman uh, directory. And I'm just going to select that. And so when you build this mod, um, it'll appear automatically in that build profile. And it'll, every time you rebuild, it'll update the mod. So with that, we'll just go ahead and build. All right, the building is done. And if we were to open up our build profile that we just built to, um, you'll see that we have our mod right here. There it is. And so now what we can do is just hop into the game and see what's broken and what's not broken. All right, so we're in VR now, and we'll just go into the new item spawner. A bit of a disclaimer, um, at the time of recording, the new item spawner and the old item spawner are in the game together. Um, we're moving to the new item spawner, and basically um, mods made with this uh, meat kit only show up in the new spawner, not the old spawner. So that... Shouldn't be an important disclaimer um, down the line, but for now it is. So we'll go to firearms and go to the SMGs category, and we'll go to our object. You'll see that it shows up. We can see all of the metadata that we created, and we will go ahead and spawn that in. So it looks like everything spawned in. We can go ahead and test the magazine. It looks like that works. Um, we can also try and insert it into the gun. That looks like that works fine. Um, oh, our stock. Very excited to open. Um, so maybe that's a bit of a problem. Our stock point needs adjusted a bit. We'll just have that open. But it does look like it is rotating nicely. So that's good. Um, our build-in area looks like it turned out fine 
Our move points look good. Our fire selector seems to work. So we'll just go ahead and try and fire this. That looks good. Automatic. And we're out. So it looks like all of that works. We can try out our attachment point. We'll just go in and grab a suppressor and make sure that that attaches. That looks good. We have audio for everything, which is good. Uh, the smoke out effect seems to be lined up nice. So I think our gun is pretty much done and ready. Um, we somehow luckily got that to work, but um, in your experience, you might have the gun fall onto the floor or start smoking. Um, there will inevitably be a bug that you run into. And when that happens, um, basically just try and go to one of the modding discords and uh, post your um, log file. And hopefully someone will be able to explain what kind of error you're running into. And with that, um, I think that's going to conclude this tutorial. Um, I'm going to go in and fix this uh, stock grab point and tweak that a bit and make some small changes, maybe change up the audio a bit. Um, but for all intents and purposes, we got a working gun, um, and hopefully you can take it from here. So. Thanks for watching, and good luck making your own guns.